Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here today. I want to show you how to be, bend a piece of Schedule 80 PVC uh, conduit. Um, I typically use a heat gun right here. It's rated at uh, 1500 watts, so no different than a hair dryer, but it gets hotter than a hair dryer. And uh, it takes about, oh boy, with Schedule 80 on two inch, it takes about a half hour. I'm going to try a method next time to see if it's quicker. I put my thermal gun on it right here, and I had to get about 190, 180 for that thing to ply, be real pliable. And I had to go up and down that conduit, and I was only bending a 24-inch piece right here. I had to keep pushing my foot and holding it. It's easier if you have two people. But I think I'm going to try taping this end and this end next time, and then next time my kids go to the, um, the school ground, we're going to get some sand and put it in. If you got a heat box then you're fine that'll do it in just minutes but uh, for those of you like me who bend maybe one scheduled piece of 80 like that uh, maybe once a year it doesn't really you know need that that often but uh, usually I try to do a straight drop but th the way this was in the basement I had to curve it especially with that manifold um, it took about 30 minutes to bend and then get that right and then you need some water just put right there in order to cool it down so anyways I think it turned out well we got it stubbed downstairs with an MA and a plastic bushing. Make sure you get your mini strap on there before you do all this. And we put a Myers hub this time. That way we could twist this and manipulate it a little bit. And it uh, worked out pretty well. All right, guys. Hopefully that will help you out. Thanks.